in the previous session we have seen classes and structures let us create few more classes and structures today i want to create a employee structure employee employee contains a name is of type string letter id is of type integer letter uh, address is of type string employee can also have couple of methods so punch in punch out punch out login logout okay employee can use these properties and employee can also have uh, these two behaviors or methods or actions here uh one structure is created structure is the blueprint to create any number of objects logging in logging out work is also behavior of the employee clear here uh, how to create objects letter d and d is of type employee equal to employee pass the name here id is 001 address is at the back here address this is not clear address but uh, to store the information about the address to store the address information there is no data type for that we can also create one more data type right one more structure address address contains some input which is of type integer or oh, letter Wait, is a type string. Wait, wait, is a type string. Assume that uh, all employees in my company are from same state, which is uh, uh, let's say AP. Okay. Now here, instead of using string, I am using address. Okay. What I am trying to say is. the properties can be either primitive data types or some other objects as well here address is another data type another object okay now to create object here to create employee what we need is we need address first we need address is of type address if you see the input here the initializer this is called initializer which is taking only two values street and pin code because we have already given value here for street for street we have already given so the remaining are two fields two properties street and pin code okay let's say it bit pin code 5003 something address is ready now i can create the employee employee of type initializer name is dn ready pin code uh, id is same something address is it is asking for address not string this time dn ready address this is one way and uh, second way is uh, um, streamer employee name is streamer zero zero two Address it is asking for address. We can instead of creating address separately, we can create address itself. Here it's address. It is asking for street. Okay, uh, let's say uh, 
Okay, pin code five zero zero something two six. This is another way of creating. If you see here, it is asking for name is of type string, ID is of type int, address is of type address. So we are creating object of address here. Here we can also have init layers here. We can also have init layer. Now objects are created. Now I want to perform operation like uh, TN ready function, TN ready work, TN ready punch out. Similarly, Sridhar punch in, punch out. Okay. Whatever you want, you can simply call them. Here I have called all the methods. Here I have called only two methods. You can also call only one method as also. The employee is ready. He is in the office. He punched in, logged in, logged out. Here employee is in office, punched in, working, and punch out. See the result. Here you are asking Sridhar to do something. So Sridhar is logging in. Sridhar to punch out. So Sridhar is doing here. D and D is doing. Okay. Once one class is created, you can create any number of objects. Here we have created two objects. D and D is one employee. Sridhar is another employee. Okay. One more thing here is as and when you create uh, the fields. Need not to be only primitive data types like string and int. It can also be an object. This is how we create classes. Similarly, class also same, but for class, what is the minimum requirement? All fields should be filled with values. Let me take this as class and say class. As in, we convert this. As a class, what it is asking, there is no value set. Class has no initializers. Street and pin code are has no value. Street and pin code has no value. Either you have to give some value, default value, or you can have initializer. Initializer, what we need in it. Return is of type string. Input is of type int. Here, uh, street value is input value. Street, street equal to whatever we are passing, street value, pin code equal to pin code value. Now, this is perfect because state is already asking some value the two are pending in, in case of classes you need to explicitly provide the constructor here if you see here it is asking for street value that is uh, pin code something okay previously when we had structure we did not need this because structures provides default in this ledger, whereas classes does not provide you the default in ledgers. It is the one of the differences. Classes does not provide you the default in ledgers, whereas structures provides. Previously, without in ledger, when you use when we use struct without in ledger, also our work is done because. Structures provides default in ledgers for the values to which are not assigned for the variables to which the values are not assigned. We have assigned to this, so we did not ask for the give you the option to pass street value, pin code, and address. Sorry, what is state? State we have already given, so only two values are pending. For those two values, the structure by default created previous previously. Now, when you change this to class, we have to define this method. We have to define this in his ledger. 
Okay, we can also have emptiness layer. This is we can have multiple ins layers actually. This is one ins layer. This is another ins layer. Street. I am putting some street. Some default street. Code equal to five triple zero two two. Okay. This is all. This is also ins layer. This is also ins layer. This is the default ins layer. We can call this is the custom ins layer. This is custom ins layer. This is default. Even if we create hundred address objects by using this, let's say address can be now address can be created. New address address. This is also you can create because the, this means that empty nothing. Don't pass anything. Don't pass anything. This means that pass two values whatever you need. This means. You don't need to pass any value. I will assign some values. I will assign some value. Okay. Assume that this is not there, and if you have only init method, in the init method, in classes, one thing you need to remember is all variables must be filled with values. All variables must be filled with values. That is the default fundamental fundamental thing which you need to remember. It is saying for state and pin code there are no values. We have init method, but values are not assigned. That is what it is saying. When you use default ins layer, what is the issue here? Even if we create hundred objects, the hundred object contains state as AP, street as default street, pin code is five triple zero double two only. If you use this init layer, each time you can pass different different values. Here we have passed each time we can pass. Here I have passed code. Here I have passed mother and other, etc. Okay. What I am trying to say is, whenever you use classes, you need to provide initializers to initialize with the default values. Initializer to initialize to construct the object. If you use default initializer, you are assigning the values. The values will be same for even if you create any number of objects. If you use custom ins layer, you can pass your own values whatever you need. Those can be assigned to the properties. Okay. If you remove this, assume that I don't want to to be the state as the same AP for all the addresses. See here, it is giving error. Address is missing. Okay, that is missing. Here, this is ins layer. If you call this also, there is an issue. State. State. Let's say simply to differentiate that I'm just using simply. Here it is in uh, green color, light green color. Light green color means property. Here it is black. Black means local variable. Okay, I am using this underscore state. I am getting the value here. State is missing. Pass the state. Here it is. AP. Here it is. Telangana. Simple. Yeah, here we are having an employee structure. Okay, the ID will not be changed. The designation, let's say, let me create designation. Software training. The designation might change. Today is software training. Tomorrow is software engineer. Day after tomorrow, we will become the team lead as well. Okay, so that I have declared this as variable. And uh, I'm writing a method. Change designation. Okay. 
in the designation string here uh, designation equal to yes. this is different and this is different underscore means this input argument this is property change the designation what i'm trying to do is oh, for the structure we have for the structure employee he has some designation assigned by default after few days i want to change the designation of this employee so it is not allowing it is saying that cannot assign to property itself is immutable in case of structures if you want to modify anything any property the function should be mutating the function should be marked as mutating very very important what is mutating method mutating method allows structure method to change its property values mutating method allows structure method mutating method allows structure property to change its value here this is structure property right this is structure property we are trying to change but we are unable to change without mutating without mutating we got error mutating allows that mutating method allows structure property to change its value to modify the structure property in a method to modify the structure property in a method we need mutating keyword in case of classes let's say this is class right i want to change let's say the person change his address change state state equal to underscore state in case of a class you don't need mutating keyword here i'm trying to change the value here mm, cannot say what is this okay yeah this is where okay state i'm trying to change okay in case of class you do not need any mutating keyword to to change its property in case of structure you need mutating keyword to change its property that is the difference mutating keyword is only allowed in structures in case of classes you do not need any mutating keyword okay. in interviews they will ask you mutating keyword is important mutating keyword is allowed to change its properties in the structure method to change structure properties to change structure property values we can say by default swift uh, swift, uh, swift structures does not allow modifying the properties in instance methods to modify the properties in methods in the methods we need to use mutating keyword in front of the method okay here we are trying to modify brand so we have to use mutating otherwise it is not allowed in case of structure in case of class even if you modify you do not need any mutating keyword mutating keyword only allowed in structures okay this is allowed basic classes basic classes and structures we keep using the methods on structures classes regularly okay. 